All right, welcome back to uh, Mr. G's uh, lab safety video, and we are in the home stretch, hopefully, of um, things not to do in the lab. As you can see, we're at area 18, and we also have a red X, which means that these are things you shouldn't be doing. So let's look at uh, Inuasha, and uh, he, well, he he's doing a couple of things, actually he's doing a bunch of things wrong. Uh, first off, he's not wearing any shoes in the lab, um, and that's def that's a definite no-no, because he needs to have uh, fully covered shoes, or acids uh, and other chemicals can spill on his feet and damage them very, very badly. So, he also has long uh, hair that's not tied back or tied up, and he also has robe flowing robes that uh, also um, are, are a definite hazard because we'll walk over here he has a Bunsen burner going on and it's lit uh, you can see the lovely blue flame right there and it's dancing and uh, he's also leaning over it he uh, is a uh, he's also not wearing uh, eye goggles and, as I said, he, his hair is. Unfortunately, what's going to happen with uh, Inuasha, it, since he is leaning over the, the, um, the Bunsen burner, is that he runs the risk of, of catching on fire. And, as you can see, Inuasha, unfortunately, is caught on fire. Fortunately, he is a stuntman, and he is not hurt in the making of this video. I can promise you that. And as you can see, Inuasha is completely unharmed. Inuasha is doing one thing right in this video, and he is actually reading the instructions for the lab. Unfortunately, he lit the Bunsen burner first, and that's what caused him to catch on fire. But again, he was not harmed in the making of this video. So let's walk over to Ichigo. And uh, Ichigo is doing a few things... Uh, wrong as well. We're at area 19, and again, there's a red X, and in, uh, Ichigo is is trying to clean up a chemical spill, and unfortunately for him, he's not wearing any gloves, he's using a sponge, he is not using any neutralizing agent for the chemical spill, and he's not wearing any uh, safety goggles over his eyes. And he also has an open bottle of some other chemical that he was pouring in the beaker, but he's focusing his, all of his attention right now on, um, on cleaning up the chemical spill. And he has long, uh, long flowing sleeves that uh, uh, could possibly absorb the chemical and uh, cause damage to his skin. If there is a chemical spill, just make sure that you tell your teacher, and the teacher will will clean up the spill. Unfortunately, there are so many chemicals that can cause someone to lose their skin uh, from their body uh, that that it, it it's it's very dangerous to be cleaning up a chemical spill, e even if there are or any sort of breakage of any glassware uh, for for labware. And Ichigo does have his uh, uh, notes for the for the. Um, for the experiment, but he's not reading them, and he didn't read them, or he wouldn't be cleaning up uh, a chemical spill over here. So let's walk over to uh, area 20, right here. We have uh, a, a red X. Uh, these, both these X's mean the same thing. We're going to start with uh, Harlequin, and uh, Harlequin uh, it has uh, a bare arms and bare legs. She also has uh, gloves on, and if we walk over uh, around, you can see that uh, Harlequin also has uh, no safety goggles on. Over here, I also apologize, all of these girls, except for Yuki, uh, have contacts in. And you should not have any contacts in when you're doing any sort of lab, because there are chemicals that can bind with uh, uh, the, the, with the uh, uh, contacts and, and possibly fuse them to your eyeballs. 
um, that would be bad. Uh, if you notice, all these girls are not wearing any uh, any sort of safety goggles. And uh, this girl over here, she is... She does have long sleeves on, and she does have the proper shoes on. She does uh, all of her uh, body, all of her body is covered by uh, clothing, and uh, she does not have hair that needs to be tied back. The only thing that she's not doing cr properly is that she doesn't have uh, her uh, safety goggles on, and that that girl is Yuka. Haruhi, to her left, is is doing a number of things wrong. First off, her sleeves are too wide open and they have the possibility of knocking over uh, chemicals and uh, labware, as well as the Bunsen burner here. Um, her legs are not fully covered and her shoulders are not fully covered by clothing. Her uh, hair is, while very pretty, uh, does need to be tied up and back or it can um, easily catch fire. Um, she's also wearing headsets, which we talked about with Scout, is definite no-no. You should not be listening to any sort of music while you're working in the lab. And, let's see if we can see it over if we walk around her. But, uh, she is wearing safety goggles on her forehead, which are lovely for her forehead, but not great for her eyes. So her safety goggles need to be on her, on her eyes. The girl next to her is Mikuru, and uh, she is uh, not wearing any safety goggles. They're her lovely safety goggles, and she is she has bare shoulders, she has bare legs, and she has open-toed shoes. Open-toed shoes or sandals are not acceptable. They need to be completely covering your feet. Um, she also is wearing contacts, and her hair needs to be tied back. Our last girl is Yuki. Yuki, is, even though she is wearing the school uniform, let's back up a little bit, even though she is wearing the school uniform, she does have glasses on and she's not wearing her safety goggles on. Um, so she, uh, um, she does definitely need to uh, uh, be wearing her safety goggles and she has bare legs. But um, even if that's the school uniform, that's not the way you can properly be in a lab. Uh, your from your neck down to your toes have to be covered uh, with clothing. And we're going to walk over to uh, the last area, area 21. And uh, again, area 21 has a let's back up a little bit has has the red X. And this is area 21. We have Catwoman to our right and Wolverine to our, our left. Let's uh, the. Uh, Wolverine is not wearing safety goggles, and he's got gloves on. He does have bare arms, uh, so he would have to uh, have a longer sleeve shirt. And uh, he is wearing a mask, which could possibly trap um, chemicals behind it. And moving over to Catwoman, she has um, so her own safety goggles on. These were pre-approved by the instructor, by the teacher. And uh, so she does not actually have to wear our safety goggles, but that has to be approved by the teacher ahead of time. Catwoman also has gloves on. And uh, Catwoman also had, uh, brought her whip with, which should have been left over on the personal item shelf. And uh, she also has a bare midriff, uh, if we walk a little bit, that needs to be zipped up a little bit more. And... One thing that Wolverine and uh, Catwoman did do is they brought in their own radio, so they're listening to whatever music they want, which is fine, but unfortunately they're going to be dancing, and you dancing uh, can cause a lot of damage to the lab because things can be pushed off or knocked off. And, and as you can see, unfortunately, uh, both Wolverine and Catwoman are dancing to music, and unfortunately that can knock off equipment, and damage the overall experiments that they're going to be providing and also possibly cause damage to other people. So, in, in I just want to thank you for putting up with these, uh, putting up with these, uh, uh,
videos and I hope you learned something and thank you.